Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a perfume review and today I'm going to be reviewing another Lancome fragrance. I just reviewed La Vie Belle. If you haven't seen that one, I will put up a card. I don't remember which corner they go into, but they go into one of these two top corners and I'll also link it down in the description box down below. Today we are going to be talking about Lancome's La Nuit Tresso. I think I pronounced that right. Don't kill me if I didn't. I'm not French, and this is a very French name. And I'm pretty sure that it translates to the night treasure. Also, don't kill me if I'm wrong. I'm not French, but I'm pretty sure that that's what this translates to. This perfume came out in early 2015, so it is not a brand new fragrance, but it's still pretty new on the market. And this scent is a flanker to the original Lancome Tresor, which came out in 1990. So definitely in comparison to what it is a flanker of, this one's pretty new. I just wanted to talk about the actual box that the perfume comes in. It is a black box with rose gold detailing, very beautiful, very glamorous, and again, just like the other Lancome fragrance, it does have braille on the side. I tried to find out why Lancome has braille on their packaging. Couldn't find like a specific reasoning or story, but I do think that that is quite interesting and bonus points that they do put braille here. This is the 2.5 fluid ounce size of this Eau de Parfum, and just from looking at it, I can tell that I'm most likely going to like whatever is inside of this bottle. Most of my favorite fragrances come in darker bottles that are kind of like more edgy looking. If they look kind of dramatic, I'm most likely going to enjoy what is inside. And that proved to be true with this fragrance. I just love that it is this gorgeous diamond shape and it just looks so beautiful sitting on your dresser. And it has this little rose ribbon and it says La Nuit Chasseau right here on there. And when you take off the top, it says Lancome on the little spray nozzle thing. As for the notes of this fragrance, there are three top notes and they are pear, bergamot, and tangerine. The middle notes are vanilla orchid, black rose, passion fruit, and strawberry. And now with the base notes, this is where all of the fun scents start to happen for me. The base is composed of patchouli, papyrus, incense, lychee, praline, vanilla, caramel, coffee, coumarin, and licorice. So when I first, oh, I just wanted to mention this cap is not gonna get lost anywhere. This is a very durable, sturdy cap that really like gets on there. <laughs> what I was gonna say is when I first spray this perfume, it opens up very pear and patchouli on me. It is a very patchouli scent overall, but I get a little bit of the pear in the beginning. Even when I first spray it, it is indeed a strong scent, but it's not overpowering because it still feels really soft to me. There's a smokiness to it. As it starts to dry down, I definitely get a little bit of that rose but I guess I don't dislike black rose. I don't really know what the difference is between rose and black rose, but I think I don't mind black rose because normally if a fragrance goes rosy on me, I'm not about it, I don't want it, but I guess black rose is different? I'm not really sure, but obviously it must be since I don't mind it. <laughs> After the perfume completely dries down in about 30 minutes to an hour, I lose that rose scent and I really start to smell that patchouli again. And once again, it's kind of smoky on me, but not musky. I'm assuming that's the incense because it does feel kind of oriental like that, like that incense type of scent. This really smells like it could be like one of those incense stick scents, but not in a bad way. That sounds like bad, but it, I promise that's not a bad thing. It's this soft smoke that's not engulfing you completely. It's just, it's there. Other notes that I definitely pick up on are the licorice and the praline. It's kind of as if those black licorice rope candy, like Twizzler type things got dipped in some vanilla frosting. Is that a thing? Am I, am I giving you a good visual? Because that's what I'm getting. I see a lot of people saying that this is a very strong scent and that it's stronger than even La Vie Belle, which is definitely now my comparison point of the strongest perfume of all time. And on me, this is not that strong of a fragrance. Even from first spray, I feel like it wears relatively close to my body and it's not like this insane room filling scent and it also doesn't really last that long on me. I'd say maybe I get six hours of wear out of it, which isn't a bad thing because this is definitely a, a nighttime wear scent. Even though it isn't overbearing strong room filling, it's still not really daytime appropriate. But as I always say, I would wear this during the day. But for most people, I could see this being like a date night type of fragrance. It's just got this captivating and like mysteriously sexy vibe to it. I feel like you can't wear this perfume unless you are already 
already all dolled up and this is your last finishing touch kind of like putting on your jewelry. I feel like it's kind of the little black dress of perfume. When you wanna have a good night out, you put on your little black dress. I feel like when you wanna have a good night, you spray this on you and you have a great night. And for some reason, when I spray this perfume, I get this visual of just being in the city at like midnight, looking up at the moon, like a full moon. I don't know why this gives me this image, just a full moon on a city night. Maybe you're wearing like your leather jacket because it's kind of chilly out but not too cold. I don't know. That's that's a visual that I'm getting. Like I mentioned, this is more of a nighttime perfume and I would say that it's probably more suited for fall and winter, although I could see it working for like early spring, just like I said, looking up at a full moon in a leather jacket. You know when you're transitioning from like the freezing cold of winter where you're wearing like 70 layers to you can just go outside in your leather jacket and you're not cold anymore, so maybe early spring as well. As for what age range I could see this being suited for, I would definitely say somebody more mature. I cannot really see somebody in high school enjoying this, maybe not even college. I'm weird and I like older fragrances, but I could see this being something for somebody a little bit older. If you guys are interested in purchasing this sweet, kind of fruity, but then also kind of gourmand and smoky fragrance, you can do so at notino.com. I will have a link to it in the description box down below. I think that is all I have to say about Lancome's La Nuit Tresso. I hope you guys enjoyed this perfume review. Since the bottle is shaped like a diamond, my question of the day for you guys today is what is your birthstone? Mine is opal. I mostly prefer what black opal looks like just because of all the colors that are in black opal, but opal in general is a pretty cool birthstone if I do say so myself. Let me know in the comment section down below what yours is. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave it a nice big thumbs up for me. And if you guys would like to keep up with me on all of my social media platforms, I will have links to them all in the description box down below. And there's actually a, what is? I think a swarm of birds is sitting outside my window right now. Just a whole swarm. There's actually a, a new link down there to my photography Instagram page. I, for some reason, have gone all these years without having a separate account for my photography, and I finally made one last week, and it like breaks my heart that I don't even have a thousand followers on it yet. Obviously, if you're watching this like a year in the future or something, and I have like three million followers, which is just goals and probably will never happen, but at the moment, it's under a thousand, and it breaks my heart. You know what would be even more sad? If a year from now, I still have under a thousand. So you guys should fix that and you should go follow my photography page because I'm posting a lot on there right now. Try to catch up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you totally should. I post new videos every Tuesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.